Just a few more close-ups. The biggest story of my career has to be perfect. Who could imagine that the tiny island of Griffin Rock, Maine, would be home to an event that will change history forever? The invasion of an evil alien race, stopped by our own beloved rescue bots, who in the process of saving their adopted hometown are revealed to be, are you ready for it? Aliens themselves. Even this seasoned hard-hitting reporter who has covered everything from bake-offs to Bolsheviks was shocked by the revelation that these robots in disguise have been living among us. And as Griffin Rock prepares itself for the gaze of every eyeball in the world, the question on everyone's lips is, what will happen next? Genius! Hello, CNM BNSC. It's Huxley Prescott, Griffin Rock. Yes, the crawfish races reporter. But this is a much bigger scoop. I'm uploading it to your satellite now. Oh, you'll be interested, all right. The whole world will be interested in this story. A routine patrol with four bats and stasis. He's laid a poke in the strangest of places. Earth was their home, now and in addition. Optimus Prime gave them this mission. Learn from the human, serve and protect. Live in their world, earn their respect. Family of heroes will be your allies. To others remain robots in disguise. Roll to the rescue. A hero. Don't worry, rescue bots. Plenty of room in the spotlight for both of us in three, two. His Honor the Mayor, blah, 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 with an emergency town meeting at City Hall to discuss the fate of the rescue bots in our town. Hmm. Fame will have to wait for the late news. Look at all the bots and guns for us! I'm starting to wonder if I made the right choice by revealing what we are. Sure you did. It was time. I do not understand. Aren't the Griffin Rock citizens willing to keep our secret? Most of them, yeah. But the mayor and a few other people might not be on board. That's why Dad called this meeting. All it takes is one person to talk. Next thing you know, the whole world is coming to gawk at us. Or worse. Hey, if humans suddenly showed up on your planet, you might not take kindly to it either. But people in Griffin Rock are used to... Weirdness? I was going to say advanced technology. Danny's right. People are accepting here. Look at all the great welcome gifts everybody's given us. What I believe humans refer to as fruit baskets. I don't have the spark to tell them we don't eat. <laughs> They're still learning about you. It might take a while. All right, quiet down, please. Everyone will get a chance to express their opinion, starting with Mayor Lusky. Uh, thank you, Chief Burns. A fellow citizens, Griffin Rock is poised on the verge of a wonderful tomorrow. A tomorrow full of tourists coming to our island to see the rescue bots. We'll be the number one destination in the world. New hotels, new shops, new economic opportunities. Mayor, may I say why I think that's a bad idea? If people beyond our island find out, it could do untold damage, both to Griffin Rock and to the bots. Now, now, why should we care about them? They're aliens! Milo, seeing as how they just saved you from aliens, that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Oh, how do we know they weren't working together? Huh? Conspiracy! The bots should be forced from Griffin Rock now! Oh! Yeah! Oh! 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 Cody. Uh, maybe we should see what the bots have to say. Hello. My name is Blades, and I'm an alien. Hi, Blades! I have a little speech prepared to- Perhaps, as our leader, Heatwave should be our spokesperson. Me? Uh, well, um, all we really want is to be left alone, to do our jobs. What the? What Heatwave means is, we've grown to know most of you pretty well, and now it's your turn to get to know us. Uh, as long as it does not interfere with our original mission, to learn to work with humans while protecting them. And becoming a tourist attraction would make both those jobs hard. Um, 
Yeah, that's what I meant. And if the rest of the world were to find out about us, it could result in our assignment coming to an end. We would have to leave Earth for good. <gasps> no, 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 why should we have to go? Oh, it looks Please. like public sentiment is on the bot side, Mr. Mayor. Well, yes, but... Oh, pshaw! Back in the old days when we did things the democratic way, any courageous mayor would have put this up to a vote. That's oh, a great yeah. idea. What? He, well, no one can say that H.P. Lusky is unfair. We'll have a vote. Tomorrow, same time, right here. And before that, if any of you have any questions about where we came from or who we are... Yeah, we could have a sort of get-to-know-your-bots session. What do you say, guys? I have been wanting to get gardening tips from Mrs. Rubio. Everyone is invited to spend time with the bots. Tomorrow morning before the vote. Until then, we'll keep their secret. Right, Huxley? I... Okay. It is not okay! Vote or no vote, Griffin Rocks is not big enough for four giant robots and us! My emergency shelter in the woods is stocked and ready for a situation just like this. Who's with me? Ah, you'll be sorry when they start eating you! Okay, we have to make them understand we don't eat. Blades, what are you doing? Ah, uh, signing photos of myself. Since everyone knows about us, I'm starting a fan club. All celebrities have them. What, do you think we're celebrities now? Like it or not, we must bear the burden. Hey, why don't we all start fan clubs and see who gets the most members? Not that I think I would win, but I would. We don't need any more distractions. We need to concentrate on our rescues. The meeting today was bad enough. Hey. I thought this is what you wanted, not to have to pretend in front of everybody anymore. Yeah, but all these new BFFs are a little more than I bargained for. I miss my alone time. Ah, I believe I finally understand the human phrase, be careful what you wish for. Ow, my wrist is starting to hurt. Well, maybe if you didn't write from your best rescue friend, Blades the Copter Bot, best wishes always, and just sign your name. You still working on that thing? I thought we agreed the ground bridge is a low priority. It'll make building the training center easier. Besides, it's what Optimus wants. We are minutes away from a test run. Let's see if they're ready on the other end. Salvage? Looking good. Hey, Servo! How are they treating you over there? He's been a big help. <sighs> More gifts. <laughs> Boats sure have been friendly. I'm almost certain everyone will vote to keep your secret, but... This event tomorrow will help make sure. Maybe we should sit down with your team and plan something, Heatwave. Um, sorry, Chief. This ground bridge is high priority. But you just said... <clears throat> oh, right. Optimus's orders. For the next few days, your time might be better spent building a bridge to the community rather than to the mainland. We'll be happy to help once we complete this test run, Chief. Hey, cut the gab. I'm all revved up with some place to go. <sighs> You know, I thought that once Blur became a rescue bot, he'd be less annoying. Wrong. Ready on our end. Blur, slow down. More presents for the bots. Watch out! Ah! Ah! Oh. Ouch. Ground bridge works. Good stop, hot shot. And the balloons are a nice touch. Ugh, sorry about that. Ooh. Believe me, really sorry. Test one complete. A successful run. Let's go for the round trip. Yeah, just give me a second to clear my intakes. I think I'll be walking through this time. I would like to make the journey as well, to test the communication links from the training center. Cody, Frankie, like to see what we've been up to over here? Can we, Daddy? As long as you ride inside the bots, just to be safe. Noble. 
I uh, better come along to, you know, make sure things are going according to plan. I'm sure getting out of Griffin Rock has nothing to do with it. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. Wow. It looks... kind of the same. Huh. Not much different than when we first scanned our vehicles here. Though I believe the scaffolding is a recent addition. That's the idea. From the outside, it'll look like it always has. All the big work is going on underground. Optimus's plans call for it to be a sort of a building in disguise. A multi-level facility, rescue simulation rooms, living area, launch and landing pad. And we've been talking about adding a race course. You've been talking about it. It's not an Optimus's blueprints. Yeah, well, I'm sure he meant to put it in. Probably just forgot. Optimus envisions this as a place that all rescue bots, present and future, could use as a base of operations. And the communication center? Come on, I'll show you. I can't awesome. wait! Awesome! So, anyone who joins my fan club will get the photo, a membership card, and a CD of the official club song. You wrote a song? You'd be surprised at how few words rhyme with awesome. E, Echo, F, Foxtrot. I have been wondering about that. Do foxes actually trot? I'll explain later, partner. The calm works loud and clear. Come on back, we have patrols to run. Salvage, let us know when they leave. Uh, well, he did. They're not there yet? Oh, dear. If they're not here, where are they? What happened? First guess? That ground bridge needs a little more testing. My comm link is useless. Let's see if I can get a cell signal. Cody, where are you? We were hoping you could tell us. Is Frankie with you? Here, Daddy. I'm okay. Thank goodness. Sit tight, my little nomad. We'll triangulate your signal and try to find you. I don't know how this could have happened. The ground bridge is a dedicated two-way link between the firehouse and the training center. It's impossible to go anywhere else. Apparently not. We have a sandstorm to prove it. According to the coordinates, you appear to be somewhere in Northern Africa. The Sahara? Cool. I mean, under different circumstances. We'll figure out what went wrong and get back to you as soon as we can. Not too long. The wind's whipping up. The sand feels like nails on my metal. No. Oh, oh dear. Yeah. Thank you, Heatwave. Don't thank me yet. We're still in the middle of this. Hang on. Follow me! Okay. Now you can thank me. Oh, just in time, too. Looks like your water reserves are out. Is it just me, or is it getting kind of hot in here? We must search for shade and water for Francine and Cody. <gasps> Look! An oasis! Wait, is that a car? Probably a heat mirage. What would a car be doing out here? We're here. Ugh, you're right, the heat's making me see things. <laughs> uh, can it make you hear things too? <laughs> Sand monster! I wasn't aware such creatures existed. They don't, at least not on this planet. Is everyone functional? <sighs> I'm all right. Whew. Yeah. Ugh. Oh, sounds like I might have a sand wedgie, but other than that, okay. <sighs> 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 oh! 
Perhaps vehicle mode will prove more successful. Stand by, Francine. Whoa. The sand makes it impossible to gain traction. Yeah, kind of noticed that. Good news. The ground bridge is working and locked onto your coordinates. That's great, Boulder, but we're not at those coordinates anymore. Yeah, we ran into a little trouble. Can you return to your original position? It took us so long to get the ground bridge running. I'm afraid it's just too risky to try to reprogram it again. Give us five minutes, then push the button. Got it. See you in five. Heatwave, while I share in your wishful thinking, I see no way out of our predicament. Curse our useless wheels. One of us doesn't need wheels. Aha! Brilliant thinking! All aboard! Ow! Watch where you step. Oh, sorry. The power up and energize! Great going, yes. Heatwave! And my wedgie's gone. Too bad we can't say the same about the storm. Couldn't have put it on this side of the sandstorm. It takes more than swirling silicon particles to stop a rescue bot. Is everyone all right? Guess he got caught in the ground bridge. <laughs> Looks like we'll be making a donation to the zoo. Any idea why the bridge failed? It didn't really fail. It, it just... Didn't work as planned. Until we can figure it out, no more trips to the training center. Probably just as well. Now we can concentrate on the vote tomorrow. Griffin Rock emergency. Chief, I was at Milo's making a delivery. A, a year's supply of peanut butter, and, and he's trapped. Looks like the whole hillside's come down on top of his shelter. Let's go, team. Are you sure Milo will let us dangerous aliens save him? It is not up to him. Our mission is to serve and protect humans, even if they don't like it. <sighs> then rescue bots, roll to the rescue. Grant, Boulder, clear the hatch! Blades, lower away. Guys, look out behind you. Uh, hurry up, Cade. Are you all right? Oh, look at all the dirt you let fall! You're, You're welcome. welcome. Hey, now I can be as snarky to everybody as you are. Maybe this out in the open stuff isn't so bad, huh? Worth reconsidering. So I guess that means you'll be chipping in tomorrow. Glad to hear it. Kids love fire truck rides. Oh. Mr. Bunty, are you from Griffin Rock or did you settle here? Though we may come from different planets, our respect for law and order binds us. Here, then, are some safety rules garnered from different systems we visited. <sighs> Who wants to go inside a bot? That's right, step right up, one at a time, please. Join the Blades the Copter Bot fan club, free of charge. Free photo of yours truly. <sighs> free rides. Who wants to ride in a helicopter? Oh, I do. I like to fly. Attention, please. It's time for the big vote. See you all in City Hall. Okay. Folks, please. Has everyone had a chance to see the plan? All right, people, stop talking. Before we vote on this, I just want to say one thing. These rescue bots might be aliens, and they might be big and clumsy. Who is she calling clumsy? But they've kept our biscuits from burning time and time again. They've earned the right to keep their secret. 
We owe it to them. And Mr. Pettipaws will fight anybody who says differently. <sighs> well then, all in favor of keeping the bot secret and saying goodbye to economic opportunity and a new era in Griffin Rock, raise your hand. Him. Put up keeping my eyes on you. <sighs> Well, there's no fighting a rising tide. Mr. Prescott? As a journalist, I'm impartial. <laughs> all right, all right. I won't file my story. <sighs> Goodbye, network news. Then it's decided. We will all help keep the bots secret from the rest of the world. On behalf of them, I just want to say thank you uh -oh, and- Oh, Chief. We can speak for ourselves now. In fact, I have a speech prepared. Thanks, everyone. We're depending on you now, just like you can still depend on us. We will continue our mission as we always have. The only difference is that you may now feel free to interact with us on a personal level, not too personal. Oh, I don't mind. We can all get as personal as you want. Pictures for everybody! Oh, <laughs>